Have a blessed morning, and welcome back brothers and sisters in Christ, to the Holy Rosary Today channel. Let us pause for a moment of reflection and spiritual contemplation, as we engage in today's Catholic morning prayers. Join us in seeking divine guidance and blessings, to commence our day. If you love what we are doing, please support us by subscribing, liking and sharing, and hit the notification bell, so you can stay updated whenever we have new videos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, asking you to fill my heart with hope. In times when life feels uncertain, and challenges seem overwhelming, help me to anchor my spirit in your promises. Remind me that you are a faithful God, who never wavers in your love and care for me. Lord, when doubt creeps in and fear tries to take hold, let me turn to your word for reassurance. Help me to remember the countless times you have provided for me, guided me, and brought me through difficult seasons. Let these memories serve as a reminder that I can trust in your plans for my life, even when the path ahead is unclear. Grant me the strength to hold on to hope, knowing that you are in control of every aspect of my life. Help me to rest in the assurance that my future is secure in your hands. Teach me to view each day as an opportunity to embrace the possibilities you have laid before me, rather than being weighed down by uncertainties. May my hope radiate to those around me, inspiring others to seek the light of your love in their own lives. Let me be a beacon of encouragement to those who are struggling. Reminding them that hope is not just a feeling, but a powerful truth rooted in your goodness and grace. Thank you, God for the gift of hope and the promise of brighter days ahead. I trust in your faithfulness, and look forward to the plans you have for me. May my heart always remain open to your leading, confident in the knowledge that with you, all things are possible. In your holy name, I pray, Amen. Morning Prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary Most Blessed Virgin Mary, in this special month dedicated to your Most Holy Rosary. I reflect on the great gift of your maternal care for the Church and for each of us. I ask that you guide me closer to your Son, Jesus Christ, through the mysteries of His life, death, and resurrection, which I contemplate with the beads of the Rosary in hand. Mother Mary, you who accepted God's will with perfect faith at the Annunciation. Help me embrace His will for me today, even when it is difficult to understand. Just as you responded with humility and trust, give me the grace to say, yes, to God's plan for my life, in every situation I face today. Strengthen my heart so that I may grow in trust, knowing that, like you, I am held in the loving care of the Father. Teach me, dear Mother, to meditate more deeply on the sacred mysteries of the Rosary so that I may not just recite words, but truly enter into the life of your Son with devotion and reverence. Through the joyful mysteries, remind me to rejoice in the simple, daily blessings from God. Through the sorrowful mysteries, comfort me in times of trial. And help me to unite my sufferings with the passion of Christ, finding strength in His example of selfless love. Through the glorious mysteries, fill me with hope knowing that victory over sin and death has been won, and that eternal life with God awaits those who remain faithful. Holy Mother, 
protect me under your mantle, shielding me from temptation, fear, and doubt. Help me to bring the light of Christ to those I encounter, reflecting the love, gentleness, and compassion that you showed throughout your life. Guide my words, that they may inspire peace, and guard my actions, that they may be rooted in charity. Dearest Mother, I place all my worries, hopes, and intentions in your hands. Carry them to your Son, who listens with an open heart to all that you ask. May your loving intercession bring grace to every part of my day, transforming even the smallest acts into offerings of love. In your heart, I find comfort and strength, knowing that you are always by my side, leading me ever closer to Jesus. May the power of the Holy Rosary be my weapon in times of spiritual battle, my comfort in times of sorrow, and my song of praise in times of joy. I ask this, trusting in your never-failing care and love, Amen. The Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, chapter 12 verses 39 to 48. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who, then, is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants, to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant, whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the menservants and the maidservants, to eat and drink and get drunk. Then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day, and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely, and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will, but did not make preparations, nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will, but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating, shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Amen. The Angelus Prayer The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me, according to thy word. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. And the Word was made flesh. 
and dwelt among us. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech Thee, O Lord. Thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ Thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by His passion and cross, be brought to the glory of His resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, Amen. Morning Prayer to the Holy Spirit Dear Holy Spirit, as I begin this day, I ask for your guidance and inspiration in all that I do. Help me to discern your will for my life, and to follow it with faith and courage. Give me wisdom to make good choices, and strength to face the challenges of the day. Fill me with your love, joy, and peace. And help me to share these gifts with those around me. Use me as an instrument of your grace and mercy in the world. Please protect me from all that is evil. And help me to resist temptation and to pursue all that is good. Above all, help me to love and serve you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. May my life be a reflection of your goodness and grace to all those around me. Amen. Morning Prayer to St. John Paul II O St. John Paul II, beloved saint and faithful servant of God, I turn to you seeking your intercession and guidance. You who were a tireless advocate for peace, mercy, and the dignity of every person. Pray for me that I may walk in your footsteps, living out the gospel with courage and conviction. You lived in the light of Christ, even in the face of great trials, always trusting in God's providence and mercy. Help me, through your prayers, to face the challenges of this day, with the same unshakable faith that you displayed throughout your life. In moments of uncertainty, when fear or doubt clouds my mind, may I turn to God with the same unwavering trust that sustained you during your long and fruitful papacy. St. John Paul, you were a champion of the Holy Rosary, a prayer that sustained you and guided your ministry. Help me to carry the mysteries of Christ's life, death, and resurrection in my heart, reflecting on them with love and devotion as you did. I ask you to help me develop a deeper devotion to this beautiful prayer. That I too may come to love it as a source of strength and peace. Intercede for me, that I may live today with an open heart, ready to serve others as you so generously served the world. You traveled the globe, bringing the message of God's love to every corner. And you saw Christ in every person, regardless of race, background, or status. Help me to open my eyes to see Christ in those I meet today, especially in the poor, the lonely, and the suffering. Teach me to respond with compassion and humility, following your example of selfless love. St. John Paul, you carried many burdens in your life, from the loss of your family at a young age, to the trials of leading the church through difficult times. Yet you never lost hope, and you inspired countless people with your message of totus tus, which means, totally yours. A complete surrender to God's will, 
through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I also ask for the grace to live with the same missionary zeal that you embodied, never hesitating to proclaim the truth of the gospel. Grant me boldness in my faith, especially when I am called to stand up for what is right and just. May your example of courage and perseverance, in the face of adversity inspire me. To live with integrity, and to be a witness to the love of Christ in all that I do. St. John Paul, you were a man of deep prayer, always seeking the presence of God in the quiet of your heart. Help me to cultivate a spirit of prayer today, even in the busyness of my tasks. So that I may remain connected to God throughout the day. Teach me to find moments of silence, to reflect on His goodness, and to offer my struggles and joys to Him. May I never grow weary in prayer, knowing that God is always near, ready to listen and to guide. Grant me the strength to endure whatever challenges may come. The wisdom to make decisions that align with God's will. And the grace to love others with a pure heart. Through your powerful intercession, I ask for protection from harm, guidance in moments of doubt, and peace in times of anxiety. Help me to trust in God's plan for my life, just as you trusted in His providence, every day of your earthly journey. May your legacy of faith, hope, and love continue to inspire me, and countless others to live holy and devoted lives. I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you loved so dearly. St. John Paul II, pray for me and for all those seeking your help today, Amen. Daily Offering to the Immaculate Heart of Mary O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and suffering of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass, throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart. The salvation of souls. Reparation for sins. The reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all apostles of prayer. And in particular, for those recommended by our Holy Father this month. Prayer of Surrender to Jesus Heavenly Father, I completely surrender all my life to You. I adore You, for You are mighty and all-powerful. Worthy of all my praise. As I kneel and worship to You, Lord. Sometimes I am so overwhelmed. By what is going on around me. That I am lost for words. By the working power of the Holy Spirit. I know that all I need to do is call on the beautiful. Sweet-sounding name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for that privilege. Take Lord, and receive all my liberty. My memory, my understanding. And my entire will. All I have and call my own. You have given all to me. To you Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it, what you will. Give me only your love, and your grace. That is enough for me, Amen. Consecration Prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary O Mary, Virgin Most Powerful and Mother of Mercy! Queen of Heaven and Refuge of Sinners, we consecrate ourselves to Thine Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to Thee, our very being and our whole life. 
All that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To Thee we give our bodies, our hearts and our souls. To Thee we give our homes, our families, our country. We desire that all that is in us, and around us, may belong to Thee. And may share in the benefits of Thy motherly benediction. And that this act of consecration, may be truly efficacious and lasting. We renew this day at Thy feet, the promises of our baptism, and our first Holy Communion. We pledge ourselves, to profess courageously. And at all times, the truths of our holy faith. And to live as befits Catholics, who are duly submissive. To all the directions of the Pope, and the bishops in communion with him. We pledge ourselves, to keep the commandments of God and his Church. In particular, to keep holy, the Lord's Day. We likewise pledge ourselves, to make the consoling practices of the Christian religion. And above all, Holy Communion, an integral part of our lives. In so far as we shall be able so to do. Finally, we promise Thee. O glorious Mother of God and loving Mother of men. To devote ourselves wholeheartedly. To the service of Thy blessed cult. In order to hasten and assure. Through the sovereignty of Thine Immaculate Heart. The coming of the Kingdom, of the Sacred Heart of Thine Adorable Son. In our own hearts and in those of all men. In our country and in all the world, as in heaven. So on earth, Amen. Act of Faith O oh my God, I firmly believe that You are one God, in three divine persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that Your Divine Son, became man and died for our sins. And that He will come, to judge the living and the dead. I believe these, and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches. Because You have revealed them, who are eternal truth and wisdom. Who can neither deceive nor be deceived. In this faith, I intend to live and die, Amen. Act of Hope O Lord God, I hope by Your grace, for the pardon of all my sins. And after life here to gain eternal happiness, because You have promised it. Who are infinitely powerful, faithful, kind, and merciful. In this hope, I intend to live and die, Amen. Act of Love O Lord God, I love you above all things. With my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all my love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me, and I ask pardon of all whom I have injured, Amen. St. Michael the Archangel Prayer. O glorious Prince St. Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King, and our Admirable Conductor, You who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence, and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God rebuke him we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. Morning Offering to Saint Joseph Receive me, dear and chosen Father, and the offering of every movement of my body and soul, which I desire to present through thee, to my blessed Lord. Purify all. Make all a perfect holocaust. May every pulsation of my heart be a spiritual communion. Every look and thought an act of love. Every action a sweet sacrifice. Every word an arrow of divine love. Every step an advance toward Jesus. Every visit to our Lord, as pleasing to God as the errands of angels. Every thought of thee, dear saint, an act to remind thee that I am thy child. Accept each little devotion of the day, though replete with imperfection, and offer it to Jesus. Whose mercy will overlook all, since he regards not so much the gift as the love of the giver, Amen. Morning Offering of St. Therese of Lisieux This morning, I dedicate all my actions to you, my God with the intention of bringing glory to the sacred heart of Jesus. I long to consecrate every heartbeat, every thought, and even the simplest tasks, by connecting them to his boundless merits. I also seek to make amends for my sins, by offering them to the furnace of his merciful love. Furthermore, I implore from you, my God, the grace to carry out your holy will perfectly both for myself, and for those dear to me. I am willing to embrace the joys and sorrows, of this transient life out of love for you. So that, in the end, we may all be reunited in the eternal bliss of heaven, Amen. Morning Prayer for Repentance and Salvation Loving Father, examine my heart and reveal my sins to me. Grant me the awareness to recognize them, and the strength to repent. Father, purify me from both the sins I know, and those hidden from me. Help me eliminate them entirely, preventing their recurrence. Heavenly Father, empower me to overcome the intentional, and unintentional wrongs in my life. Grant me victory, over these shortcomings. Lord, I understand that the thoughts in my heart, impact the words from my mouth. Therefore, I implore you to cleanse my heart, ensuring that my words come from a pure and pleasing place. Lord, I am grateful that you seal, sanctify, and empower me. You are my guide, my teacher, and you pray through me. Help me to join forces with you, as I use your word to pray for the salvation of my family, friends, and co-workers. Make me attuned to your promptings, and teach me how to collaborate with you, in praying your word over those who are seeking you. May my prayers be aligned with your will, and may they be a source of hope and transformation, for those who need your salvation. Mighty Lord, you are my provider, protector, and refuge. Only you can forgive my sins, and renew our everlasting relationship, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, in today's morning prayer before you start your day. If you enjoyed what we are doing, I invite you to share it with the people that matter to you. 
I also invite you to pray today's Holy Rosary. We'll add the link in the description below. Once again, thank you very much friends for praying together, and I hope your day is fantastic, and filled with the grace and peace of the Lord. I look forward to praying with you again in the next prayer. Until then, God bless you, and may you find joy in Jesus.